So I want to build a very simple 3D game using AI and not coding anything. So I'm going to try to think like a person who's never done any development and give this vibe coding a try. So basically, I'm going to be asking a model questions or asking the model to build things for me. And I'm not going to interject. I'm not going to act as a man in the middle. I'm just going to go with the flow and see how far I can get building a simple game. And here you can see the instructions of that game. It's just a simple 3D first person shooter game like Doom. Will AI be able to build this for me? I don't know. I'm going to give it a try and see how far I can get. For this video, I'm going to be using Black Box AI. Uh, last week, I think, I think it was last week, I met with the founders and they showed me what they're building here. They have an amazing Visual Studio Code extension. I'm going to be talking about that extension later on in a separate video. But I really want to give their web interface a try and build my 3D shooter game with them. They are sponsoring this video. So I thought, what better way to, than showcasing their tool with a game and see if it's capable of building it. So I'm going to grab my prompt. Again, there are no technical directions here, nothing. It's just a simple prompt. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to select the app builder, which is the one what we you know, it's basically what I want to do. I want to build an app for this. So I'm going to submit this and let's see what happens. So now I remember this from their presentation. Blackbox is going to create a Visual Studio Code sandbox for me that runs in the browser. So this is a code instance here. As you can see, files are going to be here and I'm looking at the plan, Blackbox AI thinking, uh, it's already creating files for me. It's going to allow me to test everything in my browser. I don't have to install anything on my computer. And that's awesome. Now, I'm assuming this is going to take a long time. So I'm going to keep going with this flow. Let's see how far it gets. And then, uh, yeah, then we can discuss what it's doing. For in the meantime here, I can see the black box is doing things on the left. Oh, look at that. It's executing a server on port 8000. So I should be able to open that. Like if I click on open browser right here, it's going to open browser for me. Oh, look at this. This is OK. All right. So this is doing stuff already. I can see I can see the wall. I don't know how to turn back, but I can see the walls. I'm assuming this big thing is the gun. This is pretty good. I'm going to go back. I'm going to see what Blackbox is asking me or thinking or do. OK, so it's the game is running. Yes, it is. That was pretty cool. Uh, all right. Gun model and crosshair in the screenshot. Let me close the browser and make some improvements. OK, so it's it's just going. It's yoloing this. It's, it's just I'm just not asking me anything. Just going with the flow. Uh, this is pretty awesome. I mean, the amount, this is, I, I, I want you guys to know, this thing is incredible to me. I've been coding since the late 90s, 1994, I think it was the first time I started learning how to program. And seeing this, it's pretty incredible and scary at the same time, but incredible, I would say, uh, for the most part. It, this is just a computer writing code. And you can see it right there. It's just writing code. Uh, I don't know how far this will go, uh, but so far it's just pretty darn amazing. All right, so Blackbox wants to use the browser. Sure, let's see. Oh, wow, look at that. Can I actually test that? Like if I refresh this, would it look like, oh, look at this. Okay. This is looking, oh my God, look at this. This is looking so much better. Oh, and I can shoot as well. All right. This is pretty, uh oh, what just happened? So I turn upside down. I don't know how to go back. Let me see, space, shoot, mouse, look around. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm out. I'm out of this system here. This is just... 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, move left, move right. Okay. So let me go back. Okay. All right. So I think it finished the first sort of like version of the game, which is awesome. Now I need to give it some more instructions. So I, with the mouse, I can just look around. All right. So let me just give it some more instructions so it doesn't do that. I'm going to say, uh, what do I say? Okay. So add a few more rooms to the map. So I, so the player can walk around them. Okay. Let's just do this. Uh, I should be, the player should also be able to look back or to turn around by using the arrow keys. Maybe, can I just turn around? I don't know, I, I'm not a gamer myself, so I'm just sort of like a, I'm pretty sure gamers have set of like, you know, pre-created notions on how you map keys in order to just move around and whatnot. I don't have any of that, so I'm just winging it here. Uh, let's see if it does that. It would be great if we have more rooms, and it would be great if I just felt weird that I can only go back and forth uh, and left and right, but I couldn't just look around. This thing is amazing. So here in Black Box, if I go, well, this thing is working. If I go here, you can see the files right there. So you can open the files. Uh, you can just, just have source control, just like Git. It's, a, it's your IDE, but now running in a browser. And it's just going nuts. It's, it's automatically controlled by Black Box here. Uh, by the way, they also have a Visual Studio Code extension. I'm not sure if I, I mentioned that. So you can do all of these things that you're seeing here in your local Visual Studio code, which would be pretty cool. And I would definitely give it a try. So that's it. All right, so browser is ready. I don't know if this is going to work, uh, but we are going to give it a try. I'm going to refresh this. Where am I? Okay. So now what? Click to start. I just clicked. Okay. Oh, look at that. I can actually turn around. There are no more rooms though. So what are the rooms? How do I go to a different room? So this is awesome. Oh, look at this. Yes, I did go to a different room. I just went through the wall, which is boom, nuts. Okay, so I'm gonna have to fix that. This is super cool. I just don't want to go through rooms here because that is not what games are supposed to be, I guess. All right, so this was, Gray. Okay, so let's make a map that shows the rooms and the position of the player. I don't, so players shouldn't be able to go through walls. There should be Halls connecting the different rooms. Okay. I think that should make sense. The AI should read that and say, okay, let me create something here that is actually good. Do listen to whoever is watching this. This is freaking nuts. Okay. Like how long have I, have I been doing this? I don't know, five minutes. And in five minutes, I already have a 3D like little world, I know it's not perfect. It's just five minutes. So it's just a 3D little world where I can walk around, I can shoot my gun, I can look around. It's just amazing. So I'm gonna try this out and then I'm gonna stop the video because you get the idea. Just give this a try, okay? If nothing else, you are going to learn a bunch of stuff. Uh, no coding required. It's just you and the browser and asking questions. And yes, that's that's about it. All right, so I read there in the plan. Okay, so that, that was a long plan. I'm not going to read all of it, obviously. But in the plan, I read that they were going to add doors. Okay, please confirm if I can proceed with this plan. 
Yes. Go ahead, of course. I'm not going to be trying to. By the way, an important thing with Vive coding is that anytime you find a good version, it's a good idea to maybe just commit your files. So in that case, if the model makes a mistake, that like maybe now the model is changing everything. So I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if I'm going to like the result. But if I don't like the result, it would have been a great idea to have that committed version so I could go back to that point and just sort of like roll back all of the changes and then ask maybe in a different way. So I didn't do that here, but that is sort of like a good practice uh, because the models will make mistake. Eventually this model will make a mistake and will stop, uh, you know, it's gonna break my game. All right, so it says that it did that. So I'm gonna refresh here. I see a mini map right there. I just don't know. There are like, oh, there we go. There are like four rooms there. See, it did not do the doors. So I don't see any doors here whatsoever. I see the mini map, but I don't see my position in the mini map. So I cannot go through this wall. Let me just try to go through this other wall. Yes, I could go. Okay, so this is, it's sort of like not working. So I'm going to ask, uh, I still don't see the position in the minimap. Check what you did. Okay. And that's the idea. I could go to the code and check, sort of like try to understand what I have so far, check why that's not working, but that's not what Vive coding is about, right? So I'm just going to ask again, just review your work. Just try to do it again. And again, having that uh, ability to commit your code that would be great for uh, just rolling back any changes that you don't like. Okay, so Black Box AI is thinking, I promise I'm gonna stop the video after this. I promise, this is just so cool. I really want to see it through right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. The minimap canvas is defined in HTML, but there is a missing reference to doorways already in the game. So it's just thinking through the code and sort of like, you know, out loud is, is saying, oh, I just discovered this and this is how to fix it. Okay. It's telling me everything that it's going to be doing. And this is actually pretty fast. Yes, let's go ahead with this plan. Like the model is working very fast which is amazing. Okay, so it did a lot of stuff there. Now it's explaining what it did. Uh, I'm going to go back here, refresh my browser. Oh, I see myself now, which is good. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yes. Boom. I still can go through. Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay, let me try to do this. Now I can still go through the walls. I mean, the good thing is I see myself in the map right now. I, oh, actually, you guys are not seeing that because I don't know. Can you see this? I'm just moving around my browser. So hopefully, hopefully you can see what I'm seeing now. See my position in the minimap. Now I'm in the sky. So there is a lot of work that I still have to do here just to make this. Let me just shoot my rooms. A lot of work that I still need to do to make this work. But just thinking about having this is just, I mean, let me just put this back where it needs to go. Just the ability of building this whole game in five minutes, 10 minutes, I don't even know. I've been recording for 14 minutes. It's just amazing. I can just keep going now, keep asking questions, keep making it better. This is just nuts. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, just give it a try. Go to blackbox.ai, give it a try, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.